J.K. Rowling originally wanted to make Harry visit all four Hogwarts House common room, but couldn't think of a valid reason to visit the Hufflepuff common room. If you were Rowling, what valid situation would you make where Harry had to visit the Hufflepuff common room? Why? Maybe to get some Hufflemuff. Harry what are you doing in the Hufflepuff common room? I'm Harry Potter. After Cedric's death, they hung a portrait of him in the Hufflepuff common room in order to remember him. Harry went there to visit and tell Cedric's portrait how sorry he was to which Cedric responds by telling him how he understands and he forgives him and tells him to kick the Dark Lord's butt. Is saying that Hufflepuff are just awesome a good enough reason? Because he was being a nosy bastard, does Rowling not recall what it was like to be a curious school kid? To convince the puffs that there are ghosts in their skirts and they had better take them off before they get possessed. And that's how he got the nickname, Dirty Harry, the man, the myth, the legend. During the time he and Ron were fighting and he were kinder isolated the Hufflepuffs adopted him. Apotheosis. Jesus Christ she wrote the books. Selfless friends are goddamn valuable. Hufflepuff is house altruism, house betterment, house honesty, house humbleness. You visit House Hufflepuff to hold a mirror to your actions. Cedric, for instance was capable, yet selfless. It's not that he lacked ambition, he just believed better. Without his example, Voldemort wins. You go to Hufflepuff because they'll work just as hard to help you do right on your homework as they would to save the world. Most people don't want to hear the truth when they ask to be told the truth. Hufflepuff knows this, and they know it stings. Yet they would still do the right thing. Hufflepuff is the means to which you look within. I think JK created something personal that became part of everyone's lives and the story isn't just hers anymore. She gave us a gift in in the form of the next great epic. The problem in her declarations is that it's an outlet to effectively drunk dial the world. Maybe it could be a hideout for a bunch of people who gave up fighting during the Battle of Hogwarts. Harry, the guys in the Hufflepuff common room have butterbeer and something called a CD player, I'll be right there. This place is cool and all, but the music's shit. To kill that smug twat Justin Finch Fletchley for dissing him. To get his Hufflepuffed on. Because it would be cool, the fourth and fifth books particularly the first half of the fifth include such long winded shit, that adding in a nice little trip around Hogwarts would only be a good thing. When I was a kid I read book 5 from the ends to the middle, I read from the start until it got too boring, and then skipped to the final battle, then I wondered what happened before that so I'd read the preceding chapter like a literary memento. You Tarantino'd the story. Quidditch captains get togethers once a month, to keep respect among the teams and agree on a pitch schedule. I don't know to look for a horcrux to try and find and talk to Cedric in book 4. Cedric was never alone and he had to ask him for a word while the whole school was talking crap about Harry. Or maybe he could have just gone in because he was curious. Someone dares him to go in. Kids are always daring other kids to do things. So it's pretty reasonable to think that would have happened. Ron. Hey Harry. I dare you to go into the Hufflepuff common room. Harry. Nah. That's silly Ron. Ron, I triple double dog dare you, Harry, well, okay then. Have him actually make friends outside of his house who he chose to hang out with in his off time. I'm sure more people would be hanging out in other people's common rooms than were depicted in the books. I don't know I think maybe when he went to go tell Cedric about the dragons he could have visited the Hufflepuff common room. Episodic Dark Lord, Snape, asshole prefect chasing him in the corridor. He reaches a dead end. Suddenly an arm reaches out to grab him into the Hufflepuff common room. He's rescued by insert notable Hufflepuff student here. Notable Hufflepuff student. There could have been several scenarios for Harry to visit the Hufflepuff common room during the Triwizard tournament to meet with Cedric. Specifically, when he was tracking him down to warn him about the dragons. Have him visit the Ravenclaw common room to see Cho Chang in book 5, then switch the cup and tiara horcruxes in book 7 so that he needs to investigate the Hufflepuff common room instead of Ravenclaw, or hell, just at the end of book 4, Harry went to go leave a wreath at the entrance of the Hufflepuff common room in honor of Cedric, and was invited in to give his respects. It was, a pretty okay common room. Simple. Girls. 
He's a teenager and a famous person. No more reasons needed. Teenager. Rich. Famous. Genius wizard. Star athlete. Homies with the staff so he gets away with everything etc. All those years at Hogwarts and barely kisses a girl. He got more action from a bathroom ghost. But then again the nerd had an invisibility cloak and used it to read more. Hey Harry. Wanna see the Hufflepuff common room? Boy would I. Hufflepuff has the dankest weed and Harry wanted to get high. So Harry visited the Hufflepuff room and huffed and puffed the best weed in all of Hogwarts. To give a tribute to Cedric, like, he and the Hufflepuffs become really good friends after. To pick up mixed up bags, homework, that's bound to happen at some point. Because Ron should have been placed into Hufflepuff and Hermione should have been Ravenclaw, I think having their friendships transcend house boundaries would have made their relationships much more interesting and nuanced. That's sort of true, because it would definitely make for an interesting friendship dynamic, but there's a few flaws with that. First, there's a rumor going around that Rowling said that the sorting hat made two mistakes with sorting one being Snape being put in Slytherin and not Gryffindor. However, that's a myth. She never said that. In fact she debunked it. The sorting hat never makes mistakes, and puts everyone into their specific houses for a reason. Like Neville with his courage at the end of the series. There was a reason Ron and Hermione were put in Gryffindor, and to be fair, we see it as early as the end of the first book where they displayed their Gryffindor qualities in the puzzles while searching for the Philosopher's Stone. The second reason is that to be honest, the houses don't see enough of each other outside of shared classes. Lunchtime and Quidditch, the latter two, they're segregated into being with their own houses. They just wouldn't have compatible schedules. And this is fairly accurate to a lot of British schools. Actually, I remember I never really saw anyone outside of my own house because I'd spend all of my classes and form with my house. And when it was our shared lunchtime and break time, we'd stay with people from our own houses as we'd have already bonded with them in form and lessons. Phew. Sorry for the block of text. If anyone wants a TLDR just let me know haha. Ha. Rowling really undersold the hard-working nature of Hufflepuff. If anything, they should have been the workhorses of Dumbledore's army, manufacturing various items of attack and defense to aid the cause. Could have had them give Harry a tour of their high school war factory. Could have had them give Harry a tour of their high school war factory. Yeah we've been pretty busy down here. This is a Molotov cocktail enchanted with dragonfire. Kill radius 30 meters. Whoa okay. This vial over here contains an experimental genetically enhanced magical virus. It's profiled to infect dark wizards only and will turn them into a contagious soup in less than two weeks. Hufflepuff no. Remember that flying car that Weasley put together? Well, we took that idea and scaled it up to an Arleigh Burke class destroyer we stole from the muggles. It's parked out back. Hufflepuff stop. Two of our researchers are working on something very promising we found in the muggle archives. Apparently it's called nuclear fission because he accidentally wandered in there while playing the Fantastic Beasts Go. Prospecting locations to hold the Dumbledore's army meetings. Following someone on the Marauder's map. Having a chat with Cedric. Just to have a look around. Chasing the voice of the Basilisk through the castle. Secret exit location for the Room of Requirement. Rowling could have made more than three characters of note who are in Hufflepuff. Cho Chang. Hey Harry. Wanna come to the Hufflepuff common room? Everyone is at the Hufflepuff versus Sylvan Quidditch match so we could bang one out. Cedric taught me where it was before he, you know, died. Harry. I think I would. Edit. Accidentally made Cho a Hufflepuff. Had to work in why she, a Ravenclaw, would know how to get in. Everyone in Hufflepuff smokes weed. They're right near the kitchens. Why not visit for the food? An ancient sorcerer, believed to be long dead, Palpatine, was alive again for some reason, and living there. Relax. Ron. It's just one strip of acid. What could go wrong? Wake up damn it. You aren't leaving the Hufflepuff common room until every single hooker's body is disposed of. Step away from all the stress and drama in the fifth book. And just, like, hang out and chill for a few hours. Ya yeah, no. 
I went to a boarding school too sadly. Mine didn't teach magic and over time I made a point of visiting each of the other dorms just to see what they looked like. It seems improbable that over the course of seven years Harry wouldn't ever be curious to see what kind of setup the Hufflepuffs had. 2. To look for clues for a Horcrux makes the most sense. Helga Hufflepuff's cup was kept in the Lestrange bank vault, and destroyed off-screen in the books. Any item could have been in there. It feels like JKR just wanted a bank heist in the book, or, just, like, for the hell of it. Hey Ron, I've been in every common room but Hufflepuff's. Wanna check it out? Book 4, Cedric. Hey Harry, that next tournament round sounds real tough. Wanna come over and brainstorm some ideas? It's next to the kitchens. Food. To pay his respects to Cedric. Fifth year. Umbridge is harassing Harry round the clock. Finding any kind of excuse to torment him or give him detention. After starting to show up in the common room. A frustrated Harry is now afraid to sleep in the dorm. Cue a group of Hufflepuffs finding out what Umbridge is doing. Taking Harry by the hand and leading him into their dorm without saying a word giving him a pillow and blanket. When Umbridge comes looking for him, the door attacks her and she can't be let in because Madame Sprout warns her that she has ill will towards the students of the house. Bloody moving stairs lead me to the Hufflepuff common room. What's wrong with them? Hold on Ron. Why is the door ajar? Don't be f stupid, Ari. How can a door be ajar? Are you off your tits again? F off Ron. Let's check it out. Fine Ron sighed. Ron was in fact not fine about this decision, given Harry's track record of discovering shit he shouldn't have. To find Justin Finch Fletchley to apologize to him, when he thought Harry had set a snake on him, to find out if he's okay after being petrified. Yeah yeah good idea. Hey Justin you know how you think I almost killed you well surprise bitch I'm in your common room and I forgive you for being a little bitch. Are we gonna have a problem?